What up everybody? If you follow us here on the channel, you know from time to time, I will do a smart home tour. We've done tours at a couple of our places, including here at Silverhammer Tower. We've done two here, but on the channel, we had a request from somebody to do an updated tour, but I didn't wanna just flood you with tours. So I put a post out there on YouTube asking a poll, how many of you would you want an updated tour? And 96% of you said yes. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and do it because I'm listening. I wanna do what you guys want me to do. So we're gonna do an updated tour here today. And we're gonna start right here on the rooftop here at Silverhammer Tower. So if you've been around for a while watching us, some of this is gonna repeat, but we do have a lot of no new stuff here too. And then for those of you that are new here, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the tour. Let's get started. What up everybody, it's George Langebeer with Silverhammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech, we talk home security, and lately we've been talking colon cancer as I was diagnosed with colon cancer in October 2022, which is unfortunate, yes, but I wanna spread that awareness. But today we're talking smart home tech, we're talking home security, we're talking a little bit of everything, because we're gonna give you a tour of Silverhammer Tower, starting here at the front door. Now, during this tour, we're gonna talk all home kit. This place is pretty much 90% ran on Apple Home or Apple HomeKit. There are a few other devices that are not native to HomeKit, but I'm using Siri shortcuts, so I'm still using Apple and Siri to use them. And maybe there's just a couple items that are miscellaneous, but we'll talk about those in a minute. So also, by the way, I'm wearing my shirt, my badass unicorn shirt. For those of you that don't know, I use that hashtag on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube even. For those of you that don't know, it's actually you my subscribers 
that started that hashtag and that name caught on. And I can't tell you how much I love that moniker and how much I try to live up to it every day because I do have stage four colon cancer, but I am gonna kick its ass. And largely it's because of your support, which I'm so thankful for. So I made this shirt as an inspiration to live up to the moniker you have given me. So thank you for that moniker because it is, it's badass. The moniker is badass. So anyway, wearing the shirt today with pride. All right, starting with the tour. We're here at the front door, and in one of my, I think it was my last video, the Acara G4 doorbell. A great HomeKit Secure video doorbell, very affordably priced at 119. By the way, a lot of the things we talk about, I'll put affiliate links in the description if you're interested. Um, but $119 doorbell, go back and check out that video. I do a full review, what I think of it. But uh, it's great that it's a battery option. I do have it wired here but I do have one in the back patio and I also have one on the garage door, which I'll show you in a second. And that is running, those two are running on battery, but awesome that it's got the battery option. And again, check out my review. We've also got the Schlage Encode Plus Smart Lock. So this just happened to match my hardware perfectly. Acara is coming out with a new Smart Lock, which we're all pretty excited about. And I'm trying to decide if it's worth it to me because this just matches so perfectly and I love the Schlage Enclode Plus. I will tell you, of all the smart locks I've had, I've had zero issues with this. I love that it works with Apple Home Key, and you can use your watch and your phone. It's flawless. It was really hard to get at the beginning. I think they're slowly but surely available everywhere now. Um, so check that out. I love this lock. Come on in. All right, when we get inside, we've got a couple things. Here's the inside of the Schlage Encode Plus, uh, the smart lock. We've got Eve door and window contact sensors. Some things are double teamed here. So I got Eve and Acara, but for the most part, this place is secured with Acara at the moment. We've got a vibration sensor. We've got door and window contacts. Um, we've got the G2H Pro um, camera right there. We've got their motion detectors. And then you'll see uh, Acara devices throughout this place. You'll see I've got, I've mentioned this in previous tours, but we've got the covers on the um, light switches because we have Philips Hue. And so these can lights above me are Philips Hue lights. We don't wanna turn the light switch on and off because that'll defeat the Philips Hue. So you'll see those switches. We've got NanoLeaf. All the smart lighting in here is Hue, NanoLeaf, Lutron, switches. And then we've also got the brilliant light switches, which we've talked about before and we'll show you throughout the tour. We've got NanoLeaf shapes here. This is the matte black version. Uh, these are awesome. They dance to music. They do all sorts of cool things you can, do automations with them, they're fantastic. I love NanoLeaf, especially the wall panels. Um, they're great. So these are the shapes in matte black. Again, Acara. We've got an Acara button here, which we use to disarm and arm our alarm system. So you can do all sorts of automations with that, you control different smart home devices. We're just using it for our security system. And then also more Philips Hue, and then these two lamps are Philips Hue. Also just a little side note, all the artwork in here is original, either painted by my dad, Teresa, or my daughter. I've talked about that before, so I'm not gonna talk about this time. But just know, as you see the artwork, like for instance, this is Delaney, this is my dad, uh, this is the artwork that's on my tattoo. Uh, that's where that came from. But anyway, we won't talk about this time like we did before, but we love art. All right, in the garage. We got the MyQ Smart Garage Door Opener. We're using the Homebridge device from uh, MyQ to put it into HomeKit. Unfortunately, that has been discontinued, but we still use it. So if you have one or you can find one, get your hands on it because then you can get your MyQ into uh, HomeKit. This is our first brilliant light switch. So I've talked about this a ton, especially in our last couple of videos. I'm not gonna go over this too much because I've just talked about it till I'm blue in the face. I also did a very specific video on brilliant way back when, when I kind of started the channel, but these are so cool. Like you can do the wallpapers you see, you've got HomePod wallpaper here. Um, you can control your smart lights, your thermostat, Sonos music, um, a ton of different things you can do with this with that cool touch screen. I love, love, brilliant. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Then we got the HomePod mini here. Now this HomePod mini, you've followed my journey, you know, from HomePod to Sonos to HomePod to Sonos in a completely insane fashion. Well, I had Sonos Moves, which were portable speakers to take out on our patio and our rooftop. And so I found this device. Um, I know some other YouTubers use it as well. So, uh, but it makes it portable. So you can keep it plugged in charging when you're not using it, but you can unplug this and take it pretty much anywhere 
and it makes your HomePod mini portable, which is fantastic. So we're gonna show you some B-roll here of the HomePod mini on our rooftop deck. We use it up there all the time. We use it on our patio and actually on our balcony on the second floor. So um, I've got another G2H Pro in here and then an Acara motion sensor in here. And um, I'm a freak about wires. This is the one place where I got wires showing, even though it's in my garage, it still bothers me. Um, but uh, it is what it is. On the outside of that garage door, I'm not gonna show it to you, but go back and check out my Acara G4 video I just did. We do have one on the garage door, the doorbell, that is. And um, so that's a great way to get a camera on there for when people like Amazon open my garage door to leave me packages, which I'm a freak about shopping. So I get packages all the time. Um, but I love that doorbell because they can either ring it or when they come in, I have video of it. And I love that. And I'll show you some B-roll of that here. Anyway. All right. Now, this is part of the tour that is one of the most ridiculous things I've been a part of. Um, and I'm very disappointed in myself because basically, if you follow me on Instagram, which I highly recommend, and uh, I got more of my health journey there, you get a little more insight into me and Silver Hammer. But if you know me, I saw the Nike Air movie, the story about Jordans and Nike, and it changed my life. I just feel the CEO of Nike is very much like me in the way I run Silver Hammer and very much like Steve Jobs, which I love. And Nike so integrated with Apple with watch faces and watch bands and everything. I've switched everything to Nike. So if you followed me, you know I was a ginormous Adidas freak. But I'm such a weirdo about brands, I am getting rid of all my Adidas. I, I mentioned cancer is opening up my horizons and I'm going to try everything. I can't do it. Mental block. So now it's just all Nike all the way. So what's behind me is me selling all my Adidas and it's in my office. I didn't want people from Facebook Marketplace traipsing through my bedroom. But the stupid thing about this is I knew I was going to do this tour. But once I get focused on something, Teresa, we got to sell this stuff. We got to sell it today. So I put all this stuff down here on Friday. We were filming this on Sunday and I totally forgot about this tour. So please forgive me about my office because it is never like this, but this is, what, this is my Adidas collection. Now, we already had some people go through this yesterday, but you'll see how ridiculous my collection was. We started yesterday with 111 pairs of shoes. We had several people buy some, but you can see I still have a lot. Um, how about the shoes you're wearing right now? Yeah, look at the shoes that I'm wearing right now. I picked these because they match my cool, badass unicorn shirt that you guys are responsible for. So yeah, Nike all the way, baby. Um, I'm a new man. <laughs> Cancer has changed me. All right, so we're still going to do the office, even though this is all my clothes. I got more shoes over there. I got apparel over there. Anyways, it's ridiculous. It is not like this. Check out our last two tours from here. You'll see what a neat freak I am. I promise this was just a huge misstep on my part for today. Anyway, we got Nana Leaf lines. We got the black skins on there, which I love. Give them that matte black look to match the shapes in the foyer. We've got um, door and window contacts on the windows. We got another hue light in this lamp. We got a door and window contact on this window. We've got the vibration sensor. Outside on this patio, we have a Philips Hue light. We take that mini uh, portable HomePod device out there all the time to get our HomePod mini out there. This is my setup to run Silver Hammer. I've got the iPad Pro 11 inch. I've got the Mac Studio with the, Mac, uh, with the uh, Apple display. We've got a full-size HomePod here. Again, watch my videos on HomePod versus Sonos. It's absolutely insane. So right now, I think we're at 10 HomePods. We'll talk about that more as we go through. But I've got the 14-inch latest um, MacBook Pro. And again, the 11-inch iPad Pro. Running this all on Orbi mesh routers. I've talked about Orbeez in all my tours. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, I got the black midnight black edition to match all my black stuff. I love it. Um, it is a wonderful router. And if you're going to run all this stuff, you need not only the router to support it, but the Wi-Fi speeds from your provider. Keep that in mind, how important that is. Love that router. Again, links in the description for a lot of things we're talking about. All right. One of the non home kit devices is the Roborock. This is the Q5. Um, that's just the carpet version because we just got carpet down here. Now, again, I use Siri shortcuts to run Roborock because unfortunately, robot vacuums are not native in HomeKit, which sucks. Hopefully that happens with Matter or sometime soon, we'll see. Um, we got the Roborock there, more Nano Leaf lines. We got those over my desk as well. Again, 
and with the black skins so they all match. Forget the shoes on the doors. We got more shoes over there. They're all got to go. So Facebook Marketplace people, come on, come on. All right, over there we got, so basically robot vacuums, I'm Robo Rock, but my regular vacuums, I'm Dyson. We'll talk about Dyson throughout, you know, technically not in home kit, but those are just cool tech devices in general, because if you got a Dyson van, vacuum, it's tech. All right, so that's a Dyson. Then I got a Dyson um, air purifier fan heater here, which I've got throughout. Um, and then I also have a lot of simple human stuff. I did a video on this. This actually um, sanitizes your phone, which was very important during COVID. Not so as, I mean, I'm just a germaphobe anyway, so it's always important to me. But anyway, simple human is throughout. Again, not home kit, but smart and convenient because the smart home is not all about the tech. It's also about convenience. All right. So we got another brilliant smart display here, a smart switch. We call it the brilliant smart control. This is the single switch version. So I can control those track lights there with that. Um, you can just do, I mean, they've got cameras built in. They got intercoms built in. The brilliant switches are fantastic. You can get a single switch, double switch, triple switch, or quadruple switch. All right, let's go on to the next floor, Teresa. On our way up real quick, and I think Teresa would agree that the, one of her favorite things about this place is every light in here is pretty much automatic. And I just try a bunch of different uh, motion sensors just because I'm a smart home guy. So that's the Philips Hue motion sensor. So on each stairway, those bring on the Hue lights, which I've got in these lamps. So every light is automatic. Just wanted to mention that real quick as we go upstairs. Yeah, I don't even know where our light switches are yeah, anymore. Teresa, I don't even know the last time she's had to use a light switch. So yeah. anyway. when I go other places, it's a little awkward. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go upstairs. All right. Before we move on, let's just talk about Apple Home or Apple Home Kit. What the heck is it? So I'm going to show you a little bit of the app, how I've got Home Kit set up, what exactly it means, and then we'll come right back to the tour. So let's check out Home Kit. Okay, so Apple HomeKit, or Apple Home as it's called now, is Apple's smart home platform. It's just a central location to put all your HomeKit compatible devices. When you buy a smart home device, you just want to make sure it's compatible with HomeKit if you're an Apple lover like myself. You can see here, it just organizes everything for you. Puts it in sections like climate, light, security, speakers, and TV. On the left, you've got your home, you've got automations, the possibilities are limitless here. So you can just do all sorts of things with your smart home devices, group them together, get them to do things automatically. And then they've got this Discover tab, which makes it very easy to get started with HomeKit, which I love. As far as Google and Amazon, this just makes it really easy. It's like a step-by-step -step guide as to how to get started with HomeKit, and I love that. So you've got your cameras here, you've got scenes, you've got your favorites, so you can put all your favorite devices in one group but it just lists everything and puts it in one nice little central location. And basically you can just toggle on and off all your devices or control them. Um, and it's just a great way to just centralize everything. And so again, these are all my favorites, but you can do it by room. So you can see all my rooms here. You can go room by room and control it. And you can also use Siri to do all of this. And that's the key with HomeKit. So it's basically just Apple smart home platform, puts it all in one nice place for you. All right, so now that we're upstairs, we're greeted by another brilliant switch. This is the three switch edition. Again, I just did a video where I talked about how I integrated Nest doorbells, which I've already moved on from. But anyway, I talked about brilliant a lot. So I feel like they deserve some love, but um, I'm not gonna go too much into them. But this is the three switch version. All right, let's move in here. Now, a normal person would use this as their dining room, I believe, but we're using it as our living room because what a normal person's living room is we use for a YouTube studio. So anyway, this room's pretty small. But uh, anyway, it's our living room. <clears throat> I've got the LG OLED. Now all these LGs are AirPlay and HomeKit compatible. So you can control the power, the inputs and everything. I love these OLEDs. This is the gallery version, which is so low, prof low profile on the wall. They got a 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch of these gallery editions. I love the OLED quality, The screen, everything about it. I freaking love these LG OLEDs and I love that they're an Apple HomeKit. Now, a lot of people don't get too excited about the HomeKit integration of TVs, but I use it a lot. So I don't know what you're all talking about. I love it. All right, I got my stereo pair home pods. I got another Dyson fan uh, air purifier. And uh, we got the Nanoleaf. Uh, those are the hexagons. They're the more of the wood panel design instead of colors. Um, which are very cool and match the decor in here. 
We've got another brilliant switch here. And then out on this balcony, we uh, use the Philips Hue light. And then we've got uh, a car door and window sensors on these doors. And uh, I think that's it for the living room. Oh, we got a 4K Apple TVs on every TV. Um, so we use our HomePods and our Apple TVs as our HomeKit hubs. Um, but we have those everywhere. And one other thing, as part of my cancer journey, I, I just want to share some of these personal anecdotes because I'm very appreciative of the people that support me. And um, some of my ShopGo family and two of my favorite human beings, John and Kirsten, gave me this and um, with another little care package. I've just received so many care packages from people and they live in far away and they mailed it to me just randomly. And I just can't tell you how sweet these gestures are and how positive they keep me in my fight and why I'm going to kick cancer's ass because I can't disappoint all these people that love me so much and I love them right back and I love all you right back. All right, and also here, um, my friend Ashley, um, you know, I really think that chemo, you know, right now I'm free of disease unofficially, which is what you want, remission. I feel like chemo is really doing the job there. Um, I've had my tumor removed and everything, but I will tell you that uh, my friend Ashley came over and saged me. Is that how it's referred to? I don't know if that's correct, so I apologize if it's not. But uh, it was just cool of them. You know, I'll, I'll try anything that's going to keep me healthy, especially if it's not something that's going to hurt me. Um, saging, there's nothing wrong with that. Can't hurt. So thank you, Ashley. Thank you. All right, moving into the kitchen. Now, the kitchen is not as smart as I would like, but it's smarter than some of our past kitchens. Um, we've got Lutron switches for the lights, these cabinet lights, these under cabinet lights. And we've got a Lutron switch for the garbage disposal. So it's cool to be able to use Siri to use my garbage disposal. Now, Teresa and I are renting here and we like to explore this downtown area as you've seen because I move all the time. We're not sure if we're staying here or not. So if we were, I'd probably replace these appliances with all smart appliances. So I'd love a smart fridge. I'd love a smart oven, but we do have some smart stuff in here. We have a Keurig. Uh, we've got simple human stuff here, which is my uh, sensor soap dispensers. This toaster, as crazy as it is, it's one of my favorite smart home devices. And I did a YouTube short and it must've been chemo brain. And I released that thing in 720p and it pisses me off because it's my first short. It's horrible resolution, but I love this little toaster and I'm, I did a video on it, but it, it just didn't do it justice. But you can press this thing. You can select your bread type, whether it's fresh, frozen or reheat. So fresh being out of the fridge, frozen out of the freezer, reheating. If you just wanted a little more toastier, you control your level. You got a gluten-free option, but there's just tons of different toast option. And Teresa will agree. It's her favorite toaster, but this little guy right here, not home kit, but one of my favorite smart home devices. The toaster is wife approved. I really do like it. It's freaking fantastic. <laughs> and that short I made pisses me off, but I can't delete it. So whatever. Um, but anyway, I need to do that more justice. All right. We got a, um, a little smart wine fridge here. We got another 4k Apple TV with an LG, um, and then our home pod here for the kitchen. Now it might be overkill to have two home pods in the living room and then one in the kitchen, but I am all about overkill. It is what it is. All right, I need this to be smart, but it's not, but whatever. And then again, with overkill, I've got two Dysons here. Uh, one's a vacuum for carpet and floor and one's for floor and I'm just trying them both. Again, overkill is my middle name. Um, LG, smart appliances, uh, washer and dryer. We do have those and I would like to switch everything to LG if we're staying here but there was no washer and dryer here. So we did buy these. I love these things. They're so uh, economical. You can use the um, LG app to put in your TVs and everything in addition to HomeKit. And actually all your HomeKit devices are in the LG app, which is cool. But um, this thing senses what's in it. It determines how long it's going to run because of that. So that saves you money. It saves you water, it saves the earth, it saves the planet. Um, it gives you the little notifications when it's done. You can start and stop it remotely on the app. There are so many cool things about this. It has the politest little ding when it starts and when it finishes. Teresa and I both love it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so polite. <laughs> um, but actually, as far as us moving someday, as weird as it sounds, that washer and dryer are one of the reasons that we consider not moving because we already have a place scoped out if we do move and they have a regular washer and dryer and that would be like kissing my sister at this point. It wouldn't be very fun. So no offense to my sister, it's my stepsisters, half sisters. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, all right, moving on.
All right, then we got the EQB sensor, or excuse me, the EQB thermostat. This is the uh, enhanced version. We did a video on this when it first came out. I love this thing. Um, you know, I, I used to sell a lot of Nest devices. So really it's main competition is the Nest thermostat. I just feel this blows the Nest away, especially with its smart sensors, because the difference is with Nest, the sensors just determine what room you're in, whereas EQB can take an average of all your rooms, which really helps control the temperature. So if you have one floor that's really cold or hot, the other floor that's temperate, it just takes an average of all of it and really evens it out. Or you can do it room by room where it follows you. Just a lot more options with EQB. And I love the look of it. I love that it's got Siri built in. You know, when they release Siri to the wild and let third-party devices use Siri, I can't believe more companies haven't taken advantage of it. It could be jumped on the bandwagon right away, which I give them huge credit for. Um, but I love the it could be thermostat. All right, in the bathroom. I don't know how you can get in here, Teresa, but... All right, we got some simple human. We got the Moros diffuser. Um, thank you, Moros, for sending this to me. Um, you know, this changes colors. Um, you got the diffuser option. It's an oil diffuser. We got another brilliant switch. We got the home pod in here. I know people are going to give me crap for having a diffuser right in my home pod, but believe it or not, it really doesn't hit that. Um, we got an EQB sensor in here, which I was just talking about. So I've got them pretty much in every room so I can take an average. And then, um, just a little cancer thing, you know, life is different when you have cancer and I have got a colostomy bag and we're going to talk about this a little bit and it's hopefully temporary, um, but I'm learning to live with it. But anybody that knows the, any cancer survivors out there that knows what it's like to have a colostomy bag, uh, the bathroom becomes quite the situation. So Teresa, in a very romantic fashion for a chemo gift, she gives me these wonderful chemo gifts every time I go to chemo, gave me disposable toilet brushes. And I'm telling you, these aren't smart, but they're smart. <laughs> They're not smart, but they're smart. And they changed my life because, uh, yeah, if you're a colostomy bag person, you know what it's all about. I love those things. Anyway, moving on to the studio. Again, normal people. This would be the living room. I'm not a normal person. There's nothing normal about me. So anyway, so what would you expect? It's going to be a YouTube studio. All right, so you can see kind of where we uh, have our little unboxing table. These are some of the products that were sent to me that are waiting for reviews. I need to get some of them installed and, and start reviewing and start testing. We got another brilliant switch. Simple Human trash cans everywhere. I just love Simple Human. Um, whether it's trash cans or the soap dispensers or whatever it is, I love Simple Human. I've talked about them before. I've mentioned this on Instagram and Facebook and maybe one of my other YouTube videos. But Steve Jobs, here's to the crazy ones. He did that speech. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, you should. That speech changed my life back when I saw it. It really inspired me to start Silver Hammer. And that's kind of how I got here to the YouTube channel. Um, so it's actually on my arm. Here's to the crazy ones. But I bought these. And um, so yeah, now that speech is represented in the studio here. All right, so we got another LG OLED here and another Apple TV 4K. And you can't see it back there, but I've got an Eve Energy switch, or I'm sorry, uh, power strip. So that's back there. So you can uh, put that in home kit and control your devices to anything that's plugged into that Eve strip. We've also got Eve Energy um, smart plugs. So there's one down there. There's one over there. Um, so you can plug different things in here. Now we're not doing it at the moment, but I do have a, a recording setup, a recording automation. By the way, with home kit, you can do all sorts of automations and you can just get crazy with it and do all sorts of cool things that happen automatically when this and this happens. My HomeKit brother, my brother from another mother, YouTube wise, Shane Watley. Today is Sunday. He just did a video that released today where his viewers sent in automations. And I'm sure some of you are those same viewers because I get all the time that people that watch Shane watch me. I gotta tell you, if you are watching and you are one of those people, you guys are freaking smart and creative and awesome. Check out Shane's video because some of those automations are so cool. And again, the creativity out there is off the charts. I consider myself a tech freak, but what some of you people did, so cool. And the auto, it just proves that automations with HomeKit are limitless. So check out Shane's video. Um, it's really cool that his viewers sent those in. Since the second time he's done that, I think he might do it again, but I really like it because it just gives you some other options out there that you might not think of. All right, I just got this. This is part of my cancer inspiration. I just love this uh, addition. 
If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. I got stage four cancer, but I'm still dreaming. You bet your ass I'm still dreaming. I'm not going anywhere and I'm gonna dream big. So that thing just keeps me in check and tells me, hey, George, life is good. You're still dreaming, you're still here. You can do this. All right, now I'm gonna talk about this without crying. Uh, this is a stoplight. I've talked about this on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, that was in my aunt's yard when I was a kid. She donated it to me. I've got Philips Hue in here to make this smart. They're on automation, so where this comes on and, and off and stuff. But Teresa's brother, who we lost to cancer, um, who was a badass cancer survivor right up until the end um, when it took him away from us. But uh, he's on my shoulder helping me in this fight. I know he is. Uh, we were so close in age and it was a huge blow. So one of the reasons I got to keep going is I can't give this family another loss. But he welded this for me and this is just a very special, special thing for two reasons. So Philip's Hugh in there. Now, if you know, you know, these are the Watley chairs. I've talked about this in a video before. Teresa named these the Watley chairs because she thinks Shane Watley and I need to hang out. And these are the chairs we should do it in. Now, that's going to happen. It's going to happen sometime soon. I don't know if it'll be here, but we might go to CES together. That's exciting. But anyway, jokingly, the Watley chairs, these are meant for Shane and I to have a serious conversation. And it probably wouldn't be serious. We just have a great time. Anyway, the Watley chairs. We got another Dyson here. Uh, again, this is the fan air purifier. Um, we got another LG with an Apple TV 4K, another LG with Apple TV 4K, my Apple wall. Now, for those of you that are wondering, I think 90% of this is still in this condo. Um, so you can kind of, uh, some of the phones aren't, but the rest of it, I almost have that many Apple TVs, I'm pretty sure. I got a collection of AirPods uh, or uh, Beats Pro up there that uh, you'll see in a minute, but anyway. It's my Apple wall that you see in a lot of my videos. Now, this right here is a little Easter egg. We're not gonna show you what it says, but uh, for those of you that sent it to me, you know who you are, very special to me, and it'll always be in here as a reminder of how cool you guys are. What about the other Apple Easter egg at that window? Oh yeah, I mentioned this when we moved, when we looked at this place for the first time, you had a little Apple sticker in the window, which just kind of spoke to me and told me that this was the place for us. All right, and then um, Grid Studios, I've talked about them several times in some of my tours. Again, I apologize for, for those of you that watched these before, but I'm gonna listen and do what you guys want, so tour it is. But anyway, these are awesome. And Teresa made this one for me, which was the uh, old iPod Nano, but this is the 4S, which was the first phone that had Siri. I've actually had the iPhone all the way back since the first one, every generation. But the 4S I picked because it had Siri, and that was a big deal for me. Uh, and a big deal for Apple Home and everything else. And then the first Apple Watch from April 24th, 2015. But Grud Studio does this just in such a cool way. And Teresa, for her first shout out, did a great job. All right, another Roborock. That is the S7 Max Ultra. I have got the S8 coming and unfortunately didn't make it for this video. But uh, so this guy is gonna go downstairs in our foyer where we've got the floor because it's the, the mop and the vacuum. I love Robo Rock as far as the robot vacuums. Um, they're awesome. Can't wait to try out the S8 and probably do a video on that when it comes. We've got another Akara camera. That's again, the G2H Pro. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Anything else you can think of in here, Teresa? No, I think you've been pretty thorough. Okay, so that is the second floor. Let's go to the third floor. Before we move on real quick, I forgot downstairs, I got the Treat Life smoke detector. How could I forget? I just did a video on that. Check out that video. And I also have a HomePod. Both of those are in the studio. Treat Life on the ceiling, HomePod on the wall. Uh, check those out here. All right, so up here, this is Teresa's bathroom. Teresa's got her own wing. Uh, I've talked about this before. I cannot wrap my brain around people that share bathrooms. I can't do it. So we've always had our own bathrooms. This is Teresa's. We got a HomePod in here. We got some simple human. Uh, we got a Lutron switch, which is automatic. Um, that's pretty much in your, everything in here. And then we've got Teresa's office. Again, she's always got the shaft in our other places. Um, so now she's got her own office and her own, we use a bedroom for her closet. In here, we have another Dyson fan. We have a Lutron switch on the wall. We have a HomePod, that's the full-size HomePod there. So I think I'm at eight full-size HomePods and then the other two are minis. 
I got a mini in the bathroom downstairs and a mini in Teresa's closet. And I, oh, it's three minis. So I think we have 11 HomePods. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, we, got, we do have a smart printer. Um, again, the Dyson fan purifier and uh, another Ecobee sensor. And uh, that's what Teresa's got in here. And then in her closet, we don't have to go in there, but we do have a HomePod mini on the wall. And then right around the corner here, we have a Lutron switch. It's just a closet. Doesn't have to be too crazy, but anyway. All right, this is the master bedroom. We got a brilliant switch here. We've got an Acara hub. So with Acara, with the security system, you can either have one of these hubs or their cameras as a hub. Now this might be a little overkill, but I actually have an Acara hub hidden in a cabinet in the kitchen. I also have an Acara up here. So when the alarm goes off, it actually sounds on all three of those. Um, so anyway, that's an Acara hub. We've got two pair of the AirPods Max. We're gonna talk about this when we get on the rooftop deck, but we watch TV up there um, and we've got trains. If you've ever watched our YouTube videos, you probably see trains passing by and behind me. Um, so you can't really hear that TV up there. So we actually use the AirPods Max for our audio and we do the share audio, which is a great feature of AirPlay. And so she's got the blue ones. I got the gray ones over there and the Acara hub. Like I said, there's another Orbi router, by the way, down in the studio in the cabinet, which you can't see is where all my hubs are. Um, and one of them is, uh, the Orbi router hooked up to my modem. We got twinkly. Uh, these are just twinkly lights. we got the twinkly squares. Uh, these are just regular light switch, uh, regular light bulbs, but they're controlled with the brilliant switch, which is in the home kit. Then we've got another LG OLED and actually this is the gallery edition. I don't know why it was out, but, uh, again, very low profile, Apple TV, 4k home pod, um, my little Harley wall because back in the Harley Davidson world and I love it. I, uh, jokingly said on. Instagram and Facebook the other day that my Harley is my therapist. Um, with cancer, you kind of need some venting time and me time and that Harley does it for me. Anyway, all right, this is another Dyson. This is the uh, top of the line Dyson that does formaldehyde, uh, air purifier, it's a humidifier. Um, this bad boy is a beast. And again, all these Dysons um, are in, they're not in a home kit, but I use Siri shortcuts to control all of them. And again, just like the robot vacuums, by the way, here's another Roborock. We got a Roborock for each floor. These are the Q5s. Um, the, the small ones are the Q5s, the S7 Ultra Max. But Siri shortcuts, I mean, that's really all you need. You tell Siri to vacuum your room, it vacuums the room. Uh, the Schwinn IC4, now the last time I did a tour, I had a different one. Now this is a very important to me. Um, if you've watched me for a long time, I've actually lost 60 pounds and it's not because of cancer. It's because I've rode my ass off on a bike. And when it's not nice outside, I'm on this bike with another shout out to Sharika Holman, who I love on Apple Fitness Plus. Um, I mean, 60 pounds, thanks to this bad boy. And it is a smart bike. Uh, it's, Schwinn is the same ones that Apple uses in the studios at Apple Fitness. Um, I love that bike. And then when I go outside, I have a trek downstairs in the garage, but um, I try to go outside as much as I can, but I'm riding about 15 miles a day. And so if you've seen me lose weight, it's not cancer, it's the bike. And bam, we've morphed to the nighttime. And speaking of cancer, again, so appreciative of people just sending me random gifts, asking me for my address. One of those people is my friend Lisa. And I just wanted to switch to the nighttime because this sits by my bed when I sleep. This is a healing crystal in the shape of the cancer ribbon, the cancer awareness ribbon. And, uh, you know, is it working? I don't know. But uh, I will say that once I received this, it's when all the news started going in the positive direction with no evidence of disease. So I'm so thankful for my medical team. And I do think chemo saved my life. But who knows? I'm all about for anything with positive energy, positive vibes, and healing power. Who knows? But man, the timing is coincidental. All right, back to the daytime. Here we've got the AirPods Max. Um, and you can see my little collection of beats. Now I'm a freak about everything matching. My van has to match my shoes, colors just have to match. So I've got beats for every color outfit I could possibly wear now with Nike. Uh, the closet, now 
Um, we got another Dyson in here. And then, uh, I don't know, Trace, if you get in here, you can see that I've got a little head start on the Nike. This is just like in three weeks. So this is how much of a weirdo I am. Um, I've already started to go in and I've got more coming. And then all of this is Nike all bought within this whole thing is Nike bought within the last three weeks because I am a freak. All right, then in my bathroom, I scored the master bathroom. Thank you, Teresa, but you did get your own wing, so it's only fair. Yeah, I think I'm all good. You're all good. Um, around the corner here, we have a Lutron motion switch. Trace, if you want to step in here. Um, there's a Sonos. This is the last remnants of Sonos. I need to take that down and patch the wall. But uh, anyway, another Lutron motion switch here, HomePod. And then I just want to say this in general. I've kind of mentioned this already, but um, you might notice there's no hair on my head, but I am such a freak about my brands that I have a Dyson hair dryer. And I want to just mention that I don't have hair on my head, but this is actually from my colostomy bag. So I bought a several hundred dollar Dyson vacuum because I love Dyson so much just to dry this thing when I'm in the shower. Um, but anyway, so for all you tech freaks out there, I challenge you to say you're as crazy as I am because I'm pretty crazy. Uh, I think that's it in the bathroom. All right, let's go to the rooftop where we started and let's, let's finish there as well. All right, give you a new little perspective here. So we've got the city over there and we've got trains. And I gotta tell you how soothing sometimes these trains are. It's just so crazy to me. But I love having them this close, especially in the middle of the night. Um, you know, sometimes with cancer you can't sleep um, and they just bring me peace. So I love having these tracks right here. Some people would be annoyed by it, but I love it. Um, so up here, we've got an Apple TV 4K. Now I keep that in the studio when it's not nice out. We had a projector up here that we used last year, but it flapped in the wind too much. And so now we're using that TV. The glare is too bad here, but it will show you it at night because we use it at night. We watch TV up here, movies, and now that it's so beautiful out, we're gonna use it a lot more. And I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, I made it pretty portable. I bought the lightest OLED that I could buy so I can lift it up here. Teresa brings the stand up. I bring the TV up, we put it on there. It takes about two minutes to get it up here. We got this cool extension cord uh, that's retractable. And uh, so we love that. We also bring that little HomePod mini uh, portable base up here. And uh, it, it replaced my Sonos Move because I have to have music playing at all points in my life. Uh, music, man, music gets me through everything. Um, it is life. So I got to play it, have it playing at all times. But uh, so yeah, we got a Hue light in there, the TV, the portable speaker. And then we also have an Eve flare, which I'll show some B-roll here of night that changes colors. Um, we bring that up here. It's just a cool accent light. I had some twinkly lights up here, but the homeowners association had a problem with it and made me take it down. They weren't bothering anybody, but they still made me take them down. I uh, did a Instagram post about those. They were pretty cool. I thought they just led some, some personality to the place, but whatever. Um, so that's the rooftop, that's the tour. So what do you think? Again, um, I wanna thank you for the suggestions. I wanna thank you for sticking with me. I wanna thank you for your support. I wanna thank you for this cool moniker, Badass Unicorn, I love that. Langabeer Fight Club is what I in turn call all of you because you've all got my back in this battle that I'm in. And I'm telling you, the reason that I seem so positive all the time and it's because I've got so much support and love and I love you right back. Um, so thank you for this tour. And for those of you that have watched these before, there was some new stuff in here, but thank you for watching again. And for those of you that are new, keep coming back for more. I'm not going anywhere. I will kick cancer's ass and I will be a YouTuber for years and years and years to come. And you're all gonna grow this channel with me. We're gonna continue to grow and flourish and it's gonna be a wonderful thing. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here on this beautiful day with us here in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, I love you, I love you all. So. Until next time, by the way, our next video, we are doing a Q and A and it's gonna be next week. Now today is Sunday um, and we are going to do that. We're gonna film that next weekend. So we just need your questions. It's gonna be a edited and filmed video. So it's not a live stream. So I need your questions ahead of time. So please submit those to me. You can do it on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I did some YouTube posts about this. So just leave them in the comments. If you wanna be anonymous, um, go ahead. No topic is off limits. 
I will talk about anything. I am the most tell it like it is guy you can meet and I will tell it like it is and, and answer anything you ask me. So it can be smart home, security, personal life. We're gonna to try to get Teresa and Delaney involved. I had some great suggestions that they wanted to get their take, especially on the cancer journey. I'm gonna to try to do that. Um, so it doesn't matter what we're talking about, but I'm excited to answer your questions. I've already got some great ones and I love the interactive feel of that and I'm excited to do that. So that's gonna be the next video and until then, Peace and love.